Hi, Assalamualaikum everyone. In this video, you will learn how to create a structural break variable in views. And if you have an views file, if you upload a time series data, so in this example, I have data of GDP from 1975 to 2016. So here I will show you how to create a structural break variable. So for that, what you can do is you can go first of all go in a, a new object and run a simple regression of LGDP with intercept when you run this you will have C as a mean value and because there is no variable so intercept is actually the mean value of the data so this is a simple regression without independent variables after that go in view stability diagnostics multiple breakpoint test when you press it it will ask how many breaks you want to check so I said it start with 5 when I do it, it will show me a table. It has shown that it has found three significant breaks, and uh, sequence wise, 1991 is the biggest one, then 2005, then 1982. So it means um, the data has a break in 1991. So if, if I open the GDP data and plot its graph, so if simple line graph, you will say that it will somewhere here there is a break, then, then it says that there is a second break at. 2005 somewhere here yes it's shown here and then it's 1982 it's somewhere here so this way you have confirmed that there's a break now how to create that variable you can go and empty group edit series and bring it here and it, name it dum dummy variable and we will put zero for all bases till 1990 then one beyond it so now this will be your structural break variable which you can add it in your regression as a independent variable so you can go again and add it add dump here so you can see it's significant so the structural break is relevant for the analysis so if you are using the ARDL model just like if you come here in the ARDL model yes then you should put dummy in the fixed regressors because it's an exogenous variable it might not have a lag effect so that it will work properly thank you very much for watching see you